The Red Man's America by Zitkala Shah. My country, tis to thee, sweet land of liberty, my pleas I bring. Land where our fathers died, whose offspring are denied, the franchise given wide, hark while I sing. My native country, thee, thy red man is not free, knows not thy love. Political bread ills, peyote in temple hills, his heart with sorrow fills, knows not thy love. Let Lane's bill swell the breeze and ring from all the trees, sweet freedom song. Let Gandhi's bill awake all people till they quake. Let Congress silence break, the sound prolong. Great mystery to thee, life of humanity, to thee we cling. Grant our homeland be bright, grant us just human right, protect us by thy might, great God, our King. Man Hesitates But Life Urges by Darcy McNichol there is the shifting, endless film, and I have followed it down the valleys and over the hills, pointing with wavering finger. When it disappeared in purple forest patches with its ruffle and wave to the slightest breathing wind god, there is this film, seen suddenly, far off, when the sun, walking to his setting, turns back for a last look. And out there on the far, far prairie, a lonely drowsing cabin catches and holds a glint for one how endless moment in a staring window the fire and song of the martyrs there is this film that has passed to my fingers and i have trembled afraid to touch and in the eyes of one who had wanted to give what i had asked but hesitated tried and then came with a weary aged not quite. I could but see the single realmless point of time, all that is sad and tired and old and endless shifting film. And I went again down the valleys and over the hills, pointing with wavering finger, ever reaching to touch, trembling, ever fearful to touch. Frog Creek Circle by Victor Charlo. Mountains, so close we are relative. Creek, so cold it brings winter rain. We return to warm August home. Frog Creek, where I've lived so long that the smells are stored, opened only here. This land never changes, always whole, always the way we want it to be. We always come back to check our senses or to remember dreams. We are remembered today in circles of family, of red pine, of old time chiefs, of forgotten horses that thunder dark stars. There are songs that we come to this day, soft as Indian mint, strange as this sky. Prodigal Daughter by Kimberly Wensout Once. When I came home after 60 days on the road, my mother said, Oh, the prodigal daughter has returned. Prodigal, prodigious, prodigy. In my blood is a way of life. Migration and distance bridge the gap in our seasonal souls. Winter camp, summer camp, kept those villages on the move. Or maybe it is because no one remembered to save my cord at birth that sturdy lifeline which delivered me whole into this world anchored me to the generations. They used to do this, kept it in a finely beaded pouch as one would keep a thing of immense worth. If this was not done, they said the child would be foolish or would always be searching. Maybe it is the thunders who breathed life into my body. They are forever wanting to lift me high and carry me away. Once, I thought I could settle into the arms of pine, hemlock, spruce, and icy river, but this has not happened yet. Home is elusive. It shapeshifts with the currents of my heart and its will. 
Home is a trickster changing according to the medicine of the season and its lessons. I was weary this last ride home. Every fiber ready to surrender, sage and a small courage begged my continuance. There is a frost on my doorway and leaves unswept. There are miles to dream before I meet the morning again. An Agony of Place by Haunani K. Trask. There is always this sense, a wash of earth, Rain palm light falling across iron wood, sands, fine and blowing to an ancient sea. I hear them always with fish hooks and nets, dark long red canoes gliding thoughtlessly to sea. And the still lush hills of laughter buried in secret caves, bones of love and ritual and sacred life. A place for Mano, a place for Pueo, the o'o, for the smooth flat pohaku, for a calabash of stars flung over the Pacific. And yet, our love suffers with a heritage of beauty in a land of tears, where our people go blindly servants for another race, a culture of machines, grinding vision from the eye, thought from the hand until a tight silence descends, wildly in place.